Um, not much. Just finishing up my work day. Do you have set hours? Yeah, like I start usually at 9 or 9.30 in the morning okay. with a morning call. And then um, I wrap up, like, I try to wrap up by 5 because I, I don't really stop for lunch. But some days I get done at 6. Um, that's a long day. Yeah, in New York that's normal, unfortunately. Yeah. Have you had uh, found it hard to separate, like, work time and home time because you're – like not changing spaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was doing a lot of working from home and like working on the road before this. Mm -hmm. So I have like a little bit of practice. Yeah, it's true. But um, yeah, it, it's definitely hard to, and there's a lot of pressure to like be at your best right now. Yeah. So you, you know, you don't want to miss a beat. You don't want to miss a message or a meeting, God forbid. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit hard in that way. And I feel <laughs> bad for my boyfriend he has to listen to me work all day <laughs> is he working from home also he's a bartender so his bar just started doing takeout okay so he's he's starting back like a few shifts which is good that is good i'm sure it's i'm sure yeah. he's excited for the change of scenery yeah, and, like, you kind of have to, like, tiptoe back into normal, right? Like, you can't just, like, it's not like one day we're all going to be, like, all right, tomorrow, real life again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that every day, like, how will we ever get back to just, like, being again? I don't know. That freaks me out. Yeah, you need, like, permission, right? Like, I need permission from somebody. I've been, so far, I've just been getting permission from Governor Cuomo. right. <laughs> Cuomo said I can take my mask off if I go into a large wooded area where no one else is <laughs> which happens how often for you <laughs> not very <laughs> yeah, literally um what have you been doing to sort of navigate how stressful everything is and like just how chaotic this whole experience has been how have you found like ways to tune out or you know, create positive spaces for yourself? Um, I don't know if I'm doing a very good job at that. <laughs> so I've been, I'm, I'm always like poly positive. It's a little annoying. No, like, I love I that about you. I can't handle like a doomsday scenario. Yeah, I'm the same way. So like, if I thought that like this pandemic was directly related to the way that we've treated our planet and that because of climate change, we were going to have these pandemics regularly now I would jump off my fire escape because I don't <laughs> want to live in that world yeah. however no one is saying pandemics are our new normal yeah this is our normal right now and we'll all be changed from it but I have to believe in a better world that is on the other side of this yeah so sometimes my positivity is a little maybe ungrounded yeah but um I struggle a lot with, I, I wish I could quit social media. I think that's my biggest, that would be the best thing for me right now. But because I need to use it for work, I can't. Yeah. Um, it's just, a, it's a lot, you know? Yeah. I, well, here's the thing. Like Facebook, I just have to really skim through very quickly because it's so, especially, you know, we come from two very opposite yeah. places so we see two very opposing opinions a lot of times, which I actually like because at least I see the discussion from both ends and at least people yeah. are talking and thinking and like, you know, having some discussion. But there in times like this, I'm like, I, that's why I like like Instagram because like mostly it's just pictures of babies, <laughs> which I'm like, you know, this is okay. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. Or like dogs. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's, social media definitely is like either really awful or just okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you on that. What is your? Yeah, but, oh, I'm sorry, you go. No, I mean aside from from that, like I I go on bike rides. I um, definitely I go get my coffee every single morning. That has been something that I've done through this whole thing. That's good obviously following proper precautions but my coffee shop is like that's my morning every morning seven days a week and it just is like 
one thing that feels a little bit normal. Yeah, exactly. It's been good. We go hiking every morning. That's like how we start the day. Yes. And that has been like the nicest thing because it's like at least A, I have a purpose to like make sure I'm out of bed. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's like I could just sit here forever. So yeah. It's like I need to have something that means like I have to put on a shirt and like go out of my room. Can you imagine being in a pandemic like even even like in the 90s? Yeah. No, I can't. I really can't. Like what, like a t- one like this where you like couldn't play with your friends. Oh my god. No. I know. Isn't it crazy like bingo we, so- we see bingo each other at bingo every week but like yeah. situations like that like that has been so nice because it's weird I've reconnected with more people during this than I probably ever have yeah. which has yeah. been really nice strange though I do start to wonder like once this is over or like started to be over am I just never gonna like see these people anymore and it was just this weird time where all of a sudden Window. <laughs> I was like talking to people from when I was six all over again Yep. Like, it is kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. Oh, yeah. For sure. And, like, because I'm sure you're getting this because you're in L.A. Because I'm in New York, people are like, I've heard things are horrible there. And I'm like. So, I'm, like, hearing from people because they're yeah. hearing things on the news. Like, people that we grew up with. And it's like, oh, I'm okay. Like, I live in a really small little bubble that, yeah. like, I'm affected. And yeah. Have you felt it, like, I feel it, because obviously, like, I'm in L.A. and it's such, like, a hot spot for everything. But, like, New York, obviously, more than probably anywhere in the States, has been, like, the focus of a lot of the news. Has that been stressful for you? Or, like, at, like heightened it at all? Um. Yeah, I guess just, like, people, like, I don't know. I, maybe it's made me feel more supported, people checking in. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's so unprecedented. Like, I don't know what I need to do like differently Yeah. because I'm here. I just like follow the rules that have been given to us. Um, yeah, but no, I, 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 I trust, you know, I trust our governor yeah. for, for the most part. And I am just so grateful that I live in a state where I agree with the way that this is being handled. Yeah. Very great that what do you I know you're obviously still working what do you do for fun um Peter and I like to hang out on the roof I've seen I love that space how nice yeah it's just a New York roof and not pictured as like the pigeon shit yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm like watching every TV show I've never watched. Um, I'm really, I'm really not a good cook, Curry. Like I am just not domestic. (laughs) I'm good at cleaning, but I'm just not really domestic. Mm -hmm. And I've actually like made a few remarkable dishes. Did Peter also say they were good? Yes. Okay. That's the only way I would know because I, I ate my food before just fine. What's the best thing that you've made? What's the best thing that I've made? Oh, my mom! I make my mom's spaghetti sauce. Okay, it's really good. And then I get Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. Oh, what a food so, network I, term! Gnocchi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I've been cooking, but like, it's just I'm it's not my. I wasn't raised that way. Yeah. I blame my family. I was like, ra- like I was just raised to like enjoy the good food put in front of me and right. I didn't participate in it. <laughs> and I'm grateful for that. Yeah, it's true. Because I certainly don't plan on like maintaining this after quarantine. I'm just you don't saving think? money. Probably some things. Like, yeah. I, you know, so the, the I think the biggest challenge for me is I forget what I already have in the fridge. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I live, like, two and a half blocks from the closest grocery store and then, like, up three flights of stairs. I can't even imagine. So I'm not going to, like, come home, check what's in the fridge, and then go back yeah. towards where it came from. So, like, that will makes it hard. And then um, I think also 
you know, traveling and eating out a lot. Yeah. Like, in New York, we don't have apartments or homes where we can, like, host our friends, so we always meet out. Yeah. One good thing that could come out of this that I would really appreciate is, like, instead of automatically always defaulting to a bar, going to, like, the park or going on a bike ride and, like, making healthier choices and not spending as much money. Yeah. Totally. You know, when I, I only lived in New York for that summer, but, like, groceries mm-hmm. here are expensive. Yeah, it's not that much less than ordering takeout. Yeah, totally. I was like, I don't know how people do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly true. What do you think you've learned about yourself um, during this time? Um, I cannot sit still. I kind of already knew that. I was about to say, I think I could have told you that. Confirmed. Um, I really, well, yeah, I, I think I've learned a lot about the importance of, like, just controlling yourself and managing what you can and, like, not, not investing in what other people are doing. Yeah. Like, how they're handling it, like, just be supportive and like try to support each other and how everyone else is dealing with everything. Definitely. Definitely. It's It's like, it's hard in this situation because like, there's like, you know, some people still have their jobs. I don't, that sucks. But then like some people are dying. (laughs) So like, it's like I'm having bad days. So so are a lot of other, so it's like, everything is relative. So you just have to like, like exactly like you said, just accept everybody where they are, which is how we should be living normally. Anyways, I know. in this, it definitely is one of those situations where it's like, when people say they're just okay, even if I'm like, well, you still have a job and you're in a place where you can walk around without a mask. I'm like, you know what? They still are probably struggling with something. Something. And, you know, people are triggered like to all sorts of weird stuff right now. Yes. You know, definitely. It's it's a mental health crisis just as much as a For, public health crisis. Absolutely, it is. Um, what are you most looking forward to doing once this is over or like starts to be back to oh normal? My God. So my dream night, first night out, <laughs> and then like if we can share all the germs. Like imagine the governor said, "The more germs you share, the safer you are." Okay, so <laughs> that's the night I'm imagining. Okay. I go to my favorite local bar, Back Pocket, for um, a few drinks. Then I go to have a delicious, hot brick oven pizza at my favorite pizza place in the neighborhood, B-Side. And then I go downtown to the West Village to, like, a smelly gay bar where there are multiple drag performers and lots of like vodka that's probably just like cheap alcohol. Right. And then at like four o'clock in the morning, I get a slice of pizza and I wake up in the morning and like the slice of pizza is like on me <laughs> and I'm naked on the couch. <laughs> this sounds like the beginning of a great movie. <laughs> An Amy Schumer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it. Yep, that's what I'm looking forward to. I also am really excited to, like, travel and, like, go do things. Yeah. Be outside, be around people, go to a concert, go to a festival. Like, as soon as all those things come back, that'll be so amazing. Have you, like, for work, did, like, all of your travel for the year just get bumped already? Yeah. That must be so tough for you. So this time last year, I remember I didn't have a weekend home, like, between March and May. Yeah. I was traveling so much, and I remember being like, this is it. This is too much. I've hit my max. Like, it's something's got to change. And so much about, not just that, but so many other things about this about this pandemic have, like, really, it's, I'm, I'm kind of like, of course this is going to happen. Yeah. Like, everything had just gotten too much. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. And there's been some really, really hard parts about it. And then there have been some really amazing wake-up calls. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It sucks that that's how we had to get to it. But I do hope that hope like this opens a lot of people's eyes and, you know, gives everybody time to, like, reevaluate themselves. Yeah. I agree. 
Yeah. I, I wish that we didn't have to like lose lives to come to that. Yeah, either, of course, but, of course, yeah. But like, yeah, it's 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 had some really in, interesting and impactful changes as well. Yeah. Jamie, I love you. I love you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for. Me. Of course, I've known you since I'm I was zero add this years to my old. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. I'm gonna add you to my resume. Oh my god. Okay. Love Thank you. you. Please take care of yourself. You. Stay safe and just, you know, keeping the light in the world that you are. Ditto. You're awesome. And you went to my first Beyonce concert with me, so you are forever. Best forever. night of my life. You were wearing a Tina Turner dress, and <laughs> it was truly, like, that is we like. We drove a, my white 97 Saturn. We will never be better than that day. Never. Mm -mm. Do you remember when she came out of the audience to Baby Boy and we were like, and Missy Elliott and Alicia Keys? I mean, and what's the girl's name who's saying There's a Stranger in My House was the opener? Oh, um, um, I mean, not Keisha Cole. And it was like 40 um, bucks. It was at the Greensboro Coliseum, right? Jamie. Oh my God. I have chills. <laughs> I do too. I do too. Like, what? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too, I'll honey. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.